Hi, this is Satya, SeniorGenSatya.com, and I specialize in working with people with sensitivities, emotional, I work with PTSD and trauma quite a bit, as well as physical sensitivities, be they to chemicals or be they to EMF or things of that nature. And I have worked with people with sensitivities for many years, and I'm noticing with everything going on today, how sensitivities are getting triggered and how people who weren't sensitive before are becoming much more sensitive right now. And I'm going to discuss that a bit in these videos. Thanks for watching. So I've been having many calls and emails from people who watched my chemical sensitivity video and asking what they can do about sensitivities and how to know if they're sensitive to the chemicals. And I believe that sensitivities can happen for different reasons when it comes to chemicals. One reason is that we have a direct sensitivity specifically to a chemical. So a specific chemical exposure like formaldehyde or something of that nature can cause our body to respond in specific ways. So that's a specific sensitivity. Then we can start to have more generalized sensitivity to chemicals when we've been exposed to so many chemicals that our body has gone into more of a reactive mode when it comes to things that it doesn't understand. And that can have some immune system triggers as well, and so can the specific chemical sensitivity. And at the same time, the generalized sensitivity, I often see trigger more, more of an immune response than the specific sensitivity will. And it can feel a bit more scary because we don't know what's triggering. We're just getting triggered in different ways. And so there's different ways that I work with the, um, we could call it multiple sensitivity, um, and the sensitivity that occurs because we've had so much exposure that our body is a bit in overwhelm. And third, we can have what I call the perfect storm chemical sensitivity. And what I mean by that is certain things that day will occur that by the time you get exposed to certain chemicals or, or large amounts of chemicals all at once, your body's already taxed so much that it has a reaction. So for instance, I had a client not too long ago who had just come from um, someone passing away at a hospital and then they got exposed to some new chemicals and their body was in so much overwhelm already that it was kind of the perfect storm for her to have an anaphylactic issue and she'd never had one before. Now the thing about that sort of situation is while it can be the start of something for some clients who will then have more anaphylactic issues until they treat, um, it sometimes is also just that one off and they don't actually have the experience again because they don't have the perfect storm again. So we can't make an assumption that that's become a pattern when it's happened once. And so these are three different ways that I see people have chemical sensitivities. Um, there are other things that occur, but these are the three most common. And as a homeopath and an herbalist and alternative medicine practitioner and healer, I find that treating people with these different structures takes somewhat of a different approach. So if someone has um, a specific sensitivity, I'm going to treat them physically different and, and emotionally likely different than I would someone who's just had a radical exposure to chemicals over time and they've um, built up inner toxicity versus someone who um, has had that one-off experience and never had it again and they're having some PTSD over fear that that could occur again. So um, there's a lot of different things that could occur when I'm treating someone and I believe in an individualized approach rather than a protocol-based approach because in my experience every individual is an individual and deserves that attention. So I hope this was useful and I look forward to next time with you. Blessings. Have a wonderful day in good health.